Hello, my lovely, beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel, or to my channel. I'm Ariel from Infinite Morale, and I'm sitting down today to do another unboxing video. We know how excited I can get about these. <laughs> I tried to be all like, rip it. But it didn't, it, it didn't work out how I planned, which is fine. Fine. So, um, I've been on the hunt. I have not allowed myself to get any more um, Oracle decks. I can see myself, so I'm like, hmm, maybe I should have brushed my hair. <laughs> Probably not. Um, okay. I've been on the hunt for a circus deck okay and I found one and when I went to go buy it on Etsy okay um, it was like unavailable I was like I've been staring at this deck for fucking weeks now it's unavailable I was pissed but um, I went and checked back a few days later and it was back up so I got it it's called the accurate as fuck tarot deck it is circle shaped so I'm excited to introduce something brand new and different. I also ordered a um, traditional tarot deck, which I still don't have. I did have one before, but it was kind of dinky. I gave it away. Um, but I've been on the search for more tarot decks, and I wanted to get an original tarot deck, which I did, but it's not here yet. Um, I could do an unboxing of that. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, I probably could. Um, but I'm doing an unboxing video of the Accurate as Fuck. AF. Accurate AF Tarot deck. Okay. Mm, kind of looks like moon phases. I'm not sure if that's what they mean there, but that's what I'm seeing. So, I bought it on Etsy. And, of course, Etsy lets you, if you qualify, pay in payments. So, I love paying in payments. Um, I'll spend like $100 and then pay in payments over like eight weeks, six to eight weeks. And that's just so much easier on my budget than to just go spend $100, which I spent like 80 on these two decks. This one was like 55 55 55 You're shiny. Um, the box is pretty and soft. It's that soft, weird texture. Let's see what we got. I'm excited when I saw it. Oh, the fool popped out. It's like, hey, girl. <laughs> Been waiting for you. Okay, whoops. Um, not going to be a hater, but I'm just kind of noticing that um, the cards kind of shifted around. Ooh, look at that pretty gold side. That's so pretty. Um, there's just cards tucked in here. It's fine. Nothing is damaged, right? So that's what counts. I would like to get a little tarot bag for this. I'd like to get tarot, little tarot sachet looking baggy thingies for all my tarot decks. Um, <laughs> but I have a lot of tarot decks. I think this makes 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This makes 15. The King of Rings doesn't want to come out. Oh, there he is. So this is what the inside of the box looks like, the hand with the... It's cute, it's cute. King of Rings. So, I mean, obviously, already, Spirit of Rings, this isn't exactly like your traditional tarot, okay? And, of course, with circle cards, which I didn't think about till I had already purchased them, um... Aren't they amazing? Oh, I'm excited to use circle cards. Um, 
But of course, they can shift really easily and turn upside down. So I wonder if I'm just going to go with the flow there and read reversals with these, or if I'm just going to ignore the reversals. We'll see how it goes. But okay, so this is what the backs look like. It's shiny, shiny, shiny. And then we have the fool here. A woman with a veil over her head. She's holding a sphere in one hand and a rose in the other. It gives you the numerical value down here, zero. And then it says optimism and freedom. Okay, that's one of the reasons why I bought these cards is because it has the little like um, interpretations of that card at the bottom so that I can go off of that and not just strictly go off the visual and what I know the fool to be in its own. It means I can have more versatility in my reading. So I really don't like seeing my face for this. I'm like, wow, you really do videos like this, don't you, Ariel? Yes. I do. Okay. And I'm not the prettiest of them all, but I have been fighting with this guy recently. It happened when I was like four years old, but it, it really sticks out on my face. And I don't like it. Wish I could take it away. Just pinch it with a pimple. <laughs> anyway. And then we have the magician. Synchronicity and manifestation. These all shine on the outside, you see that? With the name and the outside. But nothing shines on the inside. Um, I'm, I am seeing some glitter, so I wonder where that's coming from. It's pretty. But for the magician, so look at that. Showing a mudra. There's rings on these hands. And what's hanging above it is a candle with a crystal at the bottom and a ring around it. How interesting is that? Of course, it is the number one. The high priestess, or just the priestess in this one. It's got the moon phases around her head. She's really turning inwards, isn't she? Listening to herself. Not listening to anyone else. Illumination and knowledge. Trusting herself and her own intuition there. Empress. The Empress. Centered and abundant. Oh, look at that. She's got a baby to her breast. That's beautiful. Flowers around her. She's very at peace with herself. Very grounded in her own energy. Yeah, centered. I like that. That's a good word. The Emperor. Look at that. Wisdom and passion. I'm liking that everybody's eyes are closed here so far. Why? Just because it really it really opens that door to like self um the self discovery of tarot, you know, turning inwards, looking inwards, finding the answers within. Of course, you can use tarot decks to help you with that, but that's the initial purpose, right? Wisdom and passion. I love that there's like backgrounds to these cards too, so there's a lot going on in one picture. There looks like volcano, or at least a dormant volcano here with some mountains. But there's also, do you see the smoke? It's like a smoky effect on the picture here. It's interesting. The Hierophant. Spirituality and knowledge. There's the scarab beetle with the uh, wings at the top. Do you see that? That's what's here. There's big obelisks next to her that are covered in Egyptian hieroglyphs. Look at this, this grounding, dot, 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 and then connected to the ground where it's cracking in the ground. 
Her aura is also visible. So that's a very interesting Hierophant card because, I mean, in original tarot, that talks about marriage or commitment. Um, she's committed to spirituality here. I love that. Let's do a few more. The Lovers, Alignment and Harmony. So we've got the two souls holding hands here. They're going to walk through that door into a paradise, if you will. But it's literally like um, stepping through a doorway into a new reality. Alignment and Harmony are the key words on the sticks, the Lovers card. I love it. One more. Well, another one after this, but one more from the top of the deck. Oh, maybe not just one more. Because now there's fortitude. That's interesting. I wonder what that's for. Fortitude. The hermit. Okay. The chariot. Direction and willpower. Look, it's a magic carpet. Yay. <laughs> I love that. Direction and willpower. The chariot. Throwing some magic in there. I want to show you. Oh, no, I'm wrong. The hermit is not the fortitude. What comes before the hermit, guys? Help me out. What am I missing? Am I crazy? Fortitude. Eight. Hangman? Oh, fucking hell. I don't know. This doesn't come with a book. I just noticed that. I just noticed that this one doesn't come with a book. So I'm like, what does... It's number eight. Vitality and courage. Is that strength? Yeah. Okay. So we don't have a strength card here. We have a fortitude card. That makes sense. She's, she's um, got the lions there, so that would make sense. Vitality and courage. Standing in her own power here, creating her own reality, um, but starting with inner peace and confidence in herself. That's really what I'm getting here. Okay, so showing you some of them let's see how we shuffle this bad boy okay shuffle like this <laughs> cool we shuffle like this Woo! i like it it's definitely a twist again i don't think i'm gonna worry about keeping the cards upright because that's not the easiest thing to do with shuffle cards Shuffling the new deck. Woo. It's so interesting to have them be circles, you guys. I've been doing tarot for four years, and I've never had a circle deck, so there's a first for everything, right? And um, I like that it's different with the tarot and how it's not exactly the same as others. I always like switching things up, and again, I don't have a regular ass tarot deck I always want to buy the pretty different ones right I like how it shuffles though um I told myself that this was a gift for myself for going through with the plan the content the content plan I have for this month for infinite morale I have to stick with it as much as I can and do everything that I plan to do and this is my reward yeah, I already paid for my reward, and it's off to the side. It's fine. It's a way of uh, <laughs> me justifying the purchase, right? I need to get a car and a house, and here I am buying a $50 tarot deck. But it's for happiness. Leave me alone. No, I love buying tarot decks. That's why I don't like... I don't buy a lot of things for myself unless it's, like, spiritual stuff. So I wait, and I don't spend money on stuff like this. So that I can justify spending, you know, whatever pretty penny it takes to get whatever it is 
whatever deck I want now. Hmm, guys, I like this. I might hunt for another circle deck. I'm liking this so much. Oh, one of the cards just fell. Let's see what it is. I like that they're not too huge. King of Rings. So I wonder what rings... Responsibility and abundance. So it's it's probably in place of pentacles, right? We have the Dawn of Cups. We have swords. We have swords. We have cups. Swords. 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 Lovers. Swords. Shadow. Wands. So yes. King of Pentacles, a.k.a. King of Rings. Responsibility and abundance is what popped out for me. Okay, so let's try shuffling it this way, shall we? Woo! Oh, guys, it just flows so well. I love the circles. They're easier to hold on to. I thought I heard kitties meowing. I thought my fucking cat had kittens. Sorry. <laughs> but yes, I am enjoying the shuffling here. Oh, and you know that, that nice um, soft feeling I talked about on the back of the box? Soft. Um, it's also on the cards. Yeah, it's also on the cards. So, Ace of Cups came out with the Priestess. Oh, look at that. The universe already throwing readings my way. I love it. I am upon the Ace of Cups energy, spirituality and fulfillment. The High Priestess illumination and knowledge. Definitely connecting with these cards right now. Mm. <laughs> I like this card you got, or this card, this deck. I love this deck. I love the way it feels. I love the way it looks. It's nice and pretty. Um, the quality is nice. I did bend a card a little bit, but it didn't look like I did. I just, I got to be more careful um, in how I handle them. It's just different to handle some circles as opposed to rectangles right it's different it's different but i like different and i like versatile so um i'm liking this so much i might still continue the search for more circle decks if you have any links to circle decks that you would like to share with me i would love to see um what my options are i usually shop on etsy Woo. i don't like shopping on amazon as much as i can avoid it because fuck amazon <laughs> You feel? You feel me? Um, fuck Jeff Bezos and the way he treats his workers and the money that he makes and doesn't help other people with. He's just getting richer and richer and that's it. I don't like it. He's a dragon. Anyway, um, but yeah, just always on the lookout for a new awesome tarot deck. If you think you have a good idea for me, Leave it in a comment below. Thank you guys for being here and being a part of the journey with me. If you would like to... Spirit is, spirit is fucking with me, bro. Fucking with me hard. What did I do to you? <laughs> I did a whole Capricorn reading and it didn't even... Didn't register in my phone at all. I don't even know what happened, but I have to completely redo it tomorrow. But um, if you guys are interested in personal readings with me, whew, I will do personal readings with these. Um, for other people, if you're interested, um, of course I will add it to the collection, but I am cutting myself off from experiencing the beautiful energy of this deck until I feel like I can celebrate um, the goals that I've put forth for this month. So it's fine. Don't worry about me. I'll use it eventually. Um, 
But yeah, if you're interested, I could definitely use it for a personalized reading. And I will put links in the description box below. Thank you for being here and watching my content. I hope you were able to get something out of it and learn something new or different or whatever, whatever. So thank you so much for being here, you guys. Until next time. Namaste. <laughs>